Every day is a metal smith and it's different. Absolutely love my job. Genuinely think it's the best trade in the British Army. Some of the stuff that I, I, I've done in my career. A metal smith, that entails uh, welding, blacksmithing and sheet metal work. Now don't get me wrong, it's a hard job. The metal's heavy. You're grinding, you're getting sweaty, you're getting hot, but no one else can do our job. We are in a niche trade. It's absolutely fantastic when you go to a job and they've been trying for days out in the fields trying to get this sheer bolt out. You rock up in the truck, half an hour later you've got it out and you walk away ten foot tall. And then the next day it could be a vehicle that's came in, it's got a whole black blown inside of it. Cut that whole wall out into a nice shape, get a big bit of armour, get that to fit in there and weld it in and that's back out. Love being a metalsman. I joined the army back in 2001, uh, straight from school and I always wanted to join the army uh, to make my papa proud. I didn't have much of an education but since I've been in the army I've got a level 3 NVQ in fabricating welding. Extremely expensive to, to get in City Street. A level 4 diploma in management leadership. They've really really set me up good. There's not much metalsmith can't fix, because uh, by hook or by crook, I'll get it done. I'll work through the night, I don't care, and my lads are the exact same. It's a personal pride thing, maybe a soldier thing, who knows? It's definitely a metalsmith thing. It's, it's quite unusual having a female metalsmith. Uh, I do get some, some odd looks. Many times I've been on the shop floor, someone's came in for a job. They've bypassed me and gone to one of my craftsmen, and they'll go, oh, you, need to speak to, you need to speak to the boss, uh, and, and they're like, confused because I'm female. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get more females in, that would be fantastic. And I was told that by a few people, oh, you won't manage it, you're female. No, there's, there's no females. It only spurred me on. I was like, well, what a bet. Like, women can do this. So it's kind of unusual, a metal smith being a, a tank driver and commander. There's not many of us. Down south, they needed, they needed bulldog drivers and commanders, and uh, I volunteered. That's the great thing about the army, the opportunities. So much fun just sitting in the tank and just just driving around cross country. More fun being the tank driver than the commander, unless you're the jimpy gunner on top. I don't think it's that cramped at all. Absolutely loved it. Nice, warm, cosy. Didn't have to get out to make anything in the tea. It was not what I quite like, living in the back of the road. I've travelled the world and I've been paid to do it. I've been skydiving in Canada. I've been sea kayaking in Cyprus. I used to go surfing when I was based down in Wales. I used to go snowboarding when I was based out in Germany. Falkland Islands, which was really humbling. Iraq, uh, Canada was, was an eye-opener. I thought Scotland was cold until I went to Canada. So we move around quite a lot, as we mean. I've been based down in Tidworth, in Pembrokeshire, Wales. And then I've been so lucky near the end of my career to get posted back home up in Scotland. The army have a fantastic support system. I've accomplished quite a lot whilst I've been in the army, but I would definitely say my biggest achievement is my two children. Next week, I would have done 22 years in the British army and I've loved every minute of it.